Hello YouTube, I wanted to show you my OLEDI track and let you know of my 10% off everything on my Tindy store from this Black Friday till Cyber Monday. So if you want to take advantage of the 10% off, please go and buy whatever your heart wishes. Anyhow, this is my OLEDI track and uh, maybe you saw my previous videos along with this mock-up here so this is it right now it consists of three pcbs and it has a 1.3 inch oled display rotary encoder four push buttons here and four leds here you have charging and fully charged LED here and a signal LED for the pulse per second for the GPS signal. You have the micro SD card over here where all your codes are stored. I cannot see it through the phone. Okay. You have an port here. You have the following ports on this. You have I2 square. You have RXTX, you have SPI port, you have micro USB, and you have a 3.5 millimeter jack with analog 2 and digital 2 pins from the Arduino. So let me turn it on. Here you see the opening, and then you see all the apps and codes that are on my. SD card. I have over 50 codes already that will be included with the product and let me just show you I always don't know what to show anyhow let let me show you my i2 square scanner this scans all the sensors on the board and tells you the addresses and if you add something to it, like for example my not, uh, an infrared temperature sensor, like so, and you hit reset, you will see that it shows the infrared temperature sensor with this address, I squared C address. So, and if you want to change the code, you press reset while holding the center button, let go of reset, and as soon as the red LED goes on, you let go of the center button, enter button, and the regular menu will load again. And here you can select whichever app you want to run. This will include my GPS codes, my all the clock codes, my OLED scope, the RPM meter, and all the good stuff. So here you see the ambient is the temperature of the sensor itself, and the object is whatever it sees. As you see, my hand is 30 degrees centigrade right now. Take it away, it goes down put it on, goes up, it's really fast. Anyhow, this is it for now. I have just too many apps to show here. I'm working on an updated version which will have a microphone also built in. So you can use some of the other apps I have. What I also want to show you are the frames that I'm making out of PCB. It's gonna be practically like this, like the front panel, only that it's gonna be in this size and shape. And with these, particularly with the single one, you can use the frame to mount the 1.3 inch OLED display to it. And then for anybody that wants to take the GPS outside or wants to use my gear indicator, for example, they can use a GoPro session waterproof case and this will slide in and hold the electronics in place and it will look nice in the front of course 
if you use something other than the GPS, for example, the gear indicator, you will be able just to turn it around and then the PCB will be just like this. Uh, but don't think it's going to be white, it's going to be black. So since this is white, it's going to be a black PCB and it's going to have again the silver lining around the screen and the screw holes. And I also made a double version, which as you can see here, you can use with the spectrum analyzer. If you do get two of them for the left and right channel separately. Uh, this thing. Why don't they have manual focus on these phone cameras? This is unbelievable. This is like a bad joke. I'm sorry, people. Let's try this one. Maybe it sees it better with black and black. Okay, black and white. So, uh, and this one you can also will be able to turn around and use it without the writing. So you can use it for anything else, for the Oladiscope or RPM meter or whatever you want. Anyhow, I think this was it. Like I said, I do have a 10% off sale on Tindy until Cyber Monday. And this is my OLED track, which will be available soon, I hope. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, everybody. Take care.